in this video, I'm going to use these regular paper stickers from the Dollar General. You get it in a big set. I think it was $5, and you get four of these sheets of stickers and a coloring sticker and some crayons and some markers and different stuff. It's a big set. But to add these stickers to a shaker with water in it, you have to prepare, prep these stickers. Otherwise, when you put these stickers in the water, they're just going to deteriorate in the water. And they're not going to turn out too well. So, what I have... is some clear film and what I'm gonna do is get I've got an old towel it's got paint I put alcohol and epoxy and acetone and everything on it but I've got this little pump bottle with alcohol in it from the Dollar Tree and I can just pump it like this and the alcohol comes out First, I'm going to wipe my hands off just to make sure that there's nothing sticky or anything. Well, my glove tore. The alcohol ate away at my glove. Okay, so let's take the gloves off. That's not going to work. I don't know. Maybe I just got a hole in them. But I'm getting a lot of alcohol on my towel. And I'm going to move my stickers to the side. I'm only going to worry about the one side of the film right now. This is a uh, sticker film. You know, the stickers that come with the clear backing. When you've used up your stickers, normally you just throw that away. Well, I keep that and use it for this. Okay, that's really clean. There's no smears or fingerprints or anything on it. I've got some epoxy from a different project and I'm only going to pour just a little bit on my film. About, my film's quite large for this project so I'll cut it down. I'll cut the stickers out after I get done with just a regular pair of scissors. I'm going to use my spatula type thing and kind of spread out the epoxy. It don't have to be perfect for this. Depending on what you do depends on whether or not it needs to be perfect. You're not going to be able to see if I mess up on this since I'm putting it in the shaker. Um, you're not going to be able to touch them. Nothing. So you're not going to be able to tell how perfect it is. But I just want to kind of spread out the epoxy all over my film. I'm going to do more stickers than what I need for this project just because I've got so much epoxy out here and I don't want to waste my film. So I'm going to put some extras on it. I think I'm trying to make sure I get right up to the edges. Because I want to make sure that it's all covered good. This epoxy is just going to help the sticker stay stuck to the spin. That's the only thing that that layer of epoxy is going to do. Now pick out your stickers. I've already picked them out. I just got to find them. I'm going to do some of these flowers. They're Lisa Frank stickers. So they're going to go good with the shaker that I'm making. Okay, I put that on backwards. So let me get my tweezers. And I'm going to flip it over. Maybe. Or just push it off my film. Okay, there we go. I'm going to use my tweezers now. I'm going to do this little heart. After I get done with this and they dry, I'll show at the end of the video 
what they look like. That way you can see what I'm talking about. When I get done, I have to make sure that I clean off these tweezers. Otherwise, the little bit of epoxy that I'm getting on them can ruin my tweezers. And I use these tweezers for everything, especially vinyl. They're so small and it's so easy to pick up the pieces of vinyl. I love these tweezers. I'm going to do this little heart. It's got a peace sign in it. You could always like cut the stickers out, but I'm just doing it this way. There's no right or wrong way to do. As long as you get epoxy covering the bottom quite good, and then you kind of cover the top really good. And then when you get done and it's dried, you cut the stickers out and they, they're they sealed all around the sticker. So when you put it in water, they don't deteriorate. I'm gonna do a star. I figured out some of the stickers that I wanna do for this shaker but not quite all of them so that's another reason I want to do a lot of these so that I make sure that I have the one sticker that I want for my shaker since I don't quite know what or how many of these I want you need to make sure that they kind of stay down in the epoxy that way it gets a good seal okay I've done three of the peace sign hearts nope just two here's a third one then I done one star. I want to do another star. Probably do three of the stars. Well, this one's not wanting to come up. There we go. You might hear my TV going in the background. I forgot to turn it off for this video. <coughs> Let's see. Let's do another star. I'm going to go back over these within the next 30 minutes and make sure I keep pushing the stickers down so that they get covered in the epoxy good. Now I'm going to do some more hearts. I like doing these small accessories that I like to call them for the projects that I do. I can always add stickers to projects that I make. The little heart molds that I have, I can put stickers in those. I mean, this isn't something that is only good for one project. I'm going to do some more of these hearts. Oh. Now, if you put these stickers too close together, the hardest part of that this whole project is going to be trying to cut them out. So, I want to make sure that I leave enough room in between them to be able to cut them out. 
phone cases when you buy phone cases there's um a piece of film over that i mean i save a haul of that stuff for these projects oh that's too big i think yep that one's too big let me see I'm gonna put more small stuff on here maybe I should have done the big stuff first and then filled it back in with the small stuff I might be getting sick my nose is running it didn't start until this video it about full enough to put more epoxy over it. I'm going back and touching each sticker and making sure that they're staying down and they're in the epoxy and they're not too close to the edge. That's going to be enough. Okay. I'm going to clean these tweezers right now. Because I will sit them down and forget to clean them. And then when I come back and use them, they'll be covered in epoxy and I will never get it off. I'll just take my rag and wipe it down with alcohol and alcohol takes it off okay so we're gonna pour more epoxy over this and I won't do as much this time as I done on the bottom and I am going to rotate it this will help it spread some you can watch it running. But I don't really want brush lines from my silicone spatula thing. I don't want it showing brush lines. So doing it this way keeps the epoxy in good con condition. So that it don't show every little mistake in the epoxy from where I brushed it on. Now, it's not running anymore. Well, it's running. It's just not running that thick. So I'm going to just put more epoxy in just a few spots to help it run again. Now I went off on one side with the epoxy and that's fine because this film isn't going to stick to my mat because it's silicone. So if I go off the edges a little bit, it's not going to be that big of a deal because It's silicone. These look just like bubble letter, bubble stickers. You can put as many coats on this as you want. I mean, if you want big bubble stickers, just do a coat, let it dry, come back, do another coat, let it dry. 
I'm gonna touch it some just to spread it out just a little just to make sure that I don't think it's going over my stickers I might have to put more on right now I'm just like pushing my stickers down in the epoxy now this frog the female and the male frog it's covered really good in epoxy but that's about the only one that's got the epoxy covered so well so we're gonna put just a little bit more epoxy on it I know you're like that's a lot yeah I've done a lot <laughs> Now I can see it running. If I can see it running, then it's running over the stickers. And that's what I want. I want to make sure that it's over the stickers and not under the stickers. Now if it's under the stickers, then, I mean, that would still work. But when I come back, I need to feel it. And when I feel it and I fit, can still feel the sticker, then I know I need to put a coat over it. That would just, like, hold your sticker in place. Stuff like that. So, I mean, it would be fine. It's not going to mess it up or anything. You just have another step to do. I'm trying to do two steps in one. I don't want to have to come back and put more, oh, it's dripping, more over top of it. I'd rather just get it all covered the first time. Get an under layer and a top layer. I am covering up the two dogs, the golden dogs right now. And after that, I think I'm about done. I'm going to touch it again just to make sure that the epoxy is all over it. Now, if you do this quite, quite quickly after you mix your epoxy, your epoxy should level out and your sticker will be covered nicely. But if your epoxy has already started getting gunky, then it's not going to level. You may want to do two coats just to make sure that you don't ruin your stickers. Do one coat, let it dry, and then go over it again just to make sure that they're covered. And because I'm doing so many, I may do that. I may put another coat over this. And I probably won't video another coat because you don't need to watch me put an epoxy over the stickers again. I think I have included everything that you need to know in this video, but I do think I'm going to add just a little bit more because I'm really trying not to add too much, but enough to where I don't have to add another coat. Okay. The epoxy has dried on the stickers. 
Um, I've let it dry for over 24 hours, so now I'm going to trim them down. And here I'm going to insert some pictures showing you what it looks like. So, I'm going to move this over, that way maybe the back being white you'll be able to see better. But I'm just going to trim and cut in between the stickers. Then I'll go back and I'll touch it up some and shape them better and stuff like that. And I'm going real slow. It's really easy to cut, but I want to make sure that I don't cut any of my stickers. They're not stickers no more. If you wanted to leave them as stickers, you could put them on the film and then epoxy over just the sticker part. Don't go all the way to the edges, and then it would still be a sticker. But I don't want stickers. I want mine to be for shakers. So I want the back to be where it can't get wet. I'm going to cut them all first, and then I'll go back and trim. I probably won't do all of this on video, because it's going to take me a little while, because I want to make sure that I don't mess up on any of them. I may have put too many on here, because it's kind of hard to get in between each one and cut because I'm afraid I'm going to cut the other one. I'm just using regular sharp scissors to trim them down. You can get as close as you want to the sticker because the whole thing is epoxied. So even if you cut the sticker, I mean it's still going to have a good seal. Cutting these little flowers and stars is going to be tough. I'll probably cut those in strips. I'll probably speed up some of this video instead of you having to watch so much. If you wanted to do bubble stickers, and now, instead of cutting, you would just put another, another layer on and let it dry. Or, it may be easier if you just went ahead and cut them and done another layer. Because once the epoxy gets so thick, it's going to be hard to cut. I'm surprised I hadn't cut into a sticker yet since I put so many on here. These would be good for earrings. These little pieces, the little stars and flowers. Like if I had two that matched, I could easily turn it into an earring, put epoxy on the back of it, and glue it onto an earring back. And they would be cute. I'm just like cutting into it just a little bit and then bending it because I'm afraid that if I cut it anymore, that extra little snip is going to cause me to cut into my sticker. I don't know. It may be kind of hard to shape these hearts and stars. Oh, they're fine. Because of how small they are. And close together. I have almost got them all cut. Oh, I almost lost that one. Okay, so now I'm going to trim them just a little bit. I'm just going to take the edges off. I don't want the complete shape because I, I'm not that worried about a complete shape, but I don't want sharp edges or anything like that.
I'll take another picture of these when I get them trimmed down. Just to show that I didn't make it perfect. And that's fine. Just do it however you feel like. Can't see if I got it all trimmed off. With the film being clear and the epoxy being clear. Can't see quite how good my trim job is. <laughs> These are so cute. Okay, I got them all cut, and they turned out really nice. I like them. Um, there's so much that you can do with these. You could put them on earrings, like the little ones. Put earring backs on the back. Necklaces. You could do a tumbler and paint it whatever color you like, and put these on the tumbler, just don't do too big because if you do too big, then it's not going to lay flat. The possibilities are just endless with what you can do with these. I plan to use them for shakers. But I also wanted to show the backs of them. The color bled through from the sticker a little on the back. So there's a little bit of color issue. It's not white but if you're going to use it for something and you're afraid that somebody's going to see the back of it you could paint the back just whatever color you like in your sticker paint it onto the back or use some colored film then the back of it is going to be whatever color film you used i used clear film so you can see through the back but if you use some black film or blue or something like that then you won't be able to see what the back of it looks like or you could just paint your film before you put your sticker on i mean there's so much that you can do with these they're just so cute and they'll last forever i mean Here's me trying to bend it. It bends just a little bit because it's not 100% cured. But in another two or three days, they won't bend. They're going to be hard. And it's a good way to preserve stickers and stuff like that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, uh, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what your ideas are of what these can be used for and a video that you'd like to see me do next thank you